Now just look at that there. Hannikin. Howdy everybody out there, YouTube. It's me, it's me. It's that Rob with the T, Rob Tackle Box. It's an early in today. Figure I did me a beer view. Got some nice weather going on down here in Bammy. Had to resituate my little shooting angle out here in the woods. So I wouldn't be uh trying to get some decent light. I'm still way too lit. More way more the ways than one I'm too lit, but yeah, I had to move around from a normal backdrop there because the sun's coming at all kinds of wrong angles back here in the woods. But I thought today, seeing is I was up and about early, I hadn't been to sleep. It's 10:17 in the a.m. here, five o'clock somewhere, like I like to say. But uh, yeah, I figured hell, get me one. I got some light. I'm either losing light or got too much. I can't win. But yeah, I'm out here back here. Done got up early. Washed out me some clothes old-fashioned way, you know. Got ready. Washed my SUV. Washed my trailblazer. Been raining so much it looked like a mudder. We don't even mud the damn thing. It looked like a mudder. Its mother was a mudder. Father's a mudder too. Anyway, been up doing that since school buses and the, and the name garbage man done come. See me out there scrubbing that thing, hand slept, watching, watching, I think it's called Misfit Garage all night. Pretty good show. First time I've seen that. And I like them car shows. Can't afford, to, can't afford to do it, but you can watch other people buy nice things. Got plenty of cars costing me all kinds of money. But any which way, anyway, I've been up all night. Uh, yeah, just watching TV and what have you enjoying this weather now glad to be up during the day and we got some decent weather figured i got me some of these here heinekens now let's review one i ain't done a beer review in a hot minute so uh i'm back to do this here heineken review out the bottle here got my glass skull cup over there let's read the bottle here front says original recipe brewed in holland heineken and it says trade premium quality trademark Lager beer, or lager, whichever one you want to say. Hot same both, lager and lager. Probably not the right way to say it, period. But 5% alcohol by volume, so about normal alcohol for a regular beer, a uh, regular lager. And I uh, like the bottle, simple, green. Might get skunked easier, but you know, they get, come in a nice 18 pack of these. Very nice. I actually had a lid you could pop open and pull open. That you could actually pop and pull open easy. They put all these easy opening lids on, especially Budweiser. Budweiser has been putting those, uh, you know, their bottled beers and uh, they own Michelob too. So, uh, yeah, I've been getting them 12 packs of bottles and what have you. And they got that little cutout where you're supposed to pop it open and get your beer out. Some bitch is hard and held open. I had to get my knife out and open the damn thing. So, I'm like, that's fine and all, but why you got to make it look like you can open it easy when you can't? This one, you just popped it open, like you hit it with your finger, it opened right up. So I like this, the packaging was good. An 18 pack's good, I like some, you know, I prefer a 24 pack. Hell, even bigger, but you know, I like, uh, I like some bottles lately. Just been in the mood to drink out some bottles. Nice bottle design too, by the way. I like the little indention there, the star and the Heineken logo. I've been noticing more bottles, been doing a little bit more bottle art. I appreciate it. Let's see what it says back here. Brewed and bottled by Heineken. <clears throat> I can't pronounce that. Amsterdam, Holland. 2017 Heineken Lager Beer imported by Heineken USA, White Plains, New York. Questions? Call 1888 Heineken or customer affairs at HeinekenUSA.com. It's 12 fluid ounces. Uh, 142 calories per container carbohydrates 11 grams fat 0 grams protein 2 grams of protein ingredients malted water malted barley hop extract government warnings well we don't deal with those and this one's best by date is August 2019 so some bitch is fresh Let's try it out, and it is not a twist off. It does have to have a little ball opener, so don't go breaking your hands off trying to do that and ripping them. 
be careful of these balls. Like I said, I broke some in the past. Comes off quite nicely. They come off quite nicely. I like that. Some of these things you gotta fight them IPA ones. Some of them some bitches are on there good. Well, that's pork and skull glass. I need to get me one fancier glass as they suggest, like the straight fluted looking glass, but this is what I got, so I wasn't even gonna pour it in a glass, I like it out the ball, but for review's sake. Get it all out there. There's a drop in there, man. That imported stuff. Okay, nice golden. It looks like gold to me, like C-3PO from that there, Star Wars. Look at that, golden, very thin head in this glass. Like I said, they told you to put it in one of them fluted beer glasses. I got some somewhere I need to dig out. Have a little bit of change, bought my old skull mug, so let's smell it. It definitely has a, a uh, pronouncing, uh, I guess it's hops or on, but it's got that, that skunky, I almost call it skunky. It, not bad, but I mean, it's got that strong like a skunk beer has smell. Very loud to me. Smells good, though. It smells like beer. Let's taste it. It's refreshing. It's like a lager beer should be. A bit of a back. It's, it's it's a flavorful beer, and these definitely need to be uh, at least cold. Now you don't want these freezing. Now I don't like any beer hardly freezing. It has to be some strong bad malt liquor for me to want it freezing cold. But these definitely taste. I had one pretty warm, not not hot, but pretty warm, and it was not. It kind of had that skunk. If you give them too warm, they got that skunk taste to them. But nice and cool. This one's just cool. It's been refrigerated a little bit. It's been cool out here and. You can keep them in the trunk of one of my cars uh, in the shade. It's very, very tasty. Very tasty. Uh, cool. You want cold. Just cold. That's how I like it. Cold, or as cold as you like it. But this is not one that tastes better warm. Some of them fancier ones, you need them warm to even taste all them ingredients. This, this to me, has a skunk taste if you drink it warm. But cold cool it's just perfect it's a good lager beer it's it's got flavor to it pretty flavorful not off-putting at all i like it i don't know what more to say about it but it's good and uh heineken man remember them austin powers it was an either i don't know if it was in the first i think it was the second austin powers they promoted the hell out of heineken you know, take your hands off my hiney baby or you eye in my hiney that's pretty funny that's why I remember Heineken the most for. But yeah, I didn't used to care for it much or never much drank it. But yeah, this is pretty good. I might pick me up since it's convenient in the bottles. It's good beer. I wouldn't turn Heineken away. Not my go-to beer, but it's good. I enjoy, I'm enjoy. i enjoying it. Been drinking on a few. It's been good weather here, though. I, I appreciate that. Dear God, if it rained anymore, man. I was about losing my damn mind. Everything's muddy. My damn car's got algae growing on them or some such shit. And I got cars beyond, man. I got to wash them all and keep them decent. I ain't got garage to put them in, so I got to keep out there washing them. And <clears throat> Excuse me. I did just eat me some eggs for breakfast. Nothing fancy. Just, just broke about four eggs into the skillet and mixed them around a little bit. Damn good. Put a little garlic salt in there, a little pepper. I put a little hot sauce if I had any. I'm out of hot sauce. Got a few of those I reviewed left, but they were up in my room. I didn't feel like walking up there. One of them had a recipe on there. I'm going to have to make that one day, try that thing out. But you can't go wrong with some eggs. I had a few eggs. I put, I made like a ghetto omelet, you know, I put, just broke some eggs, mixed them up in the pan, put two pieces of American cheese, sliced cheese in there. Made a little like egg cheese sandwich. I just picked that, some, let it cool off, picked that thing up, made it with my hands. Good shit right there. Ain't nobody watching. They don't give a shit they are. Pick it up, eat with your hands. It's better try it. Of course, wash your hands, but nothing like eating something with the hands to make you feel make you feel manly. Had a friend. I was eating. Me and my buddy got us one of them rotisserie chickens from Walmart. Man, we we were just it was just me and him. Hell, we washed our hands. We were tearing that shit off. We we're just eating it with our hands and 
that, that girl never seen such things. She was like, well, God, what the hell are you doing? I said, hell, it's just us. We're in this damn room playing video games. I said, we got the pack. You ain't getting the damn silverware out and all that. Hell, just eat the chicken with your hands. I don't know. I'm from Alabama. Hell, if it, ain't, it ain't a fancy occasion. It's just you and a buddy or some shit. You grab the damn yard bird and if it's just you, hell, eat whatever you want to with your hands. I ain't cleaning them dishes. Hell, I got a dish and a fork. That's how I eat. I know this is a rambling beer review, but hell, I ain't got nothing better to do. But Heineken, it's good shit. Try you some. Can't go wrong. It's pretty reasonable from what I remember, too. They, they're not as high as they used to be. It's not as fancy as it used to be, all these IPAs. But, uh, yep, Heineken. This is Rob Tackle Box, Tackle Box Reviews, and uh, I suggest it gets you some Heineken and uh, enjoy. Tell me how you like it, how you drink your Heineken, what kind of temperature, what do you prefer? Hell, just talk to me, period. Now, I appreciate all my new subscribers out there. Thank you up to 40, and uh, yeah, I keep commenting and uh, watching and sharing and try to help me get to 100 now so I can get my name on the URL. My big goals in life, man, YouTube fame. 40 subscribers, I'm balling, baby. Heineken, drink you some, Rob Tackle Box, more reviews coming, more rambling coming. Might just do another rambling. Rambling on too much now. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good day.